3D Vintage Easter Bunny Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hat Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a vintage style Easter Bunny that's got kind of that iconic Easter, Easter Bunny look, really soft features, soft colors. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and as much as my little bunny does. And don't forget to click subscribe to all my future videos as well. Bye! Begin the nail with an overlay of a minty green acrylic. I absolutely love using all these pastels and colors for Easter, and I feel like you can either take it two routes. You can go super pastel, kind of like um, the little candy melts, if you know what I'm talking about, those vintage candies. Or you can go kind of like a really bright, springy, neon type scheme, and either way works. But to stick with the vintage style, definitely go pastels. Encase the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong, and then file the nail into shape with your e-file. Start out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk and then switch over to a finer bit to smooth out the surface texture. Whenever you're doing finish filing, I recommend using a straight barrel bit. I just find that for me that gives the most smooth, clean results. Begin sculpting your bunny with the beige color acrylic. So same thing, I decided to keep, you know, kind of those pastels going and it seems like in most of the vintage Easter Bunny images that I was looking at when I was doing research for this design, most of them weren't the white bunny that you kind of see now more. So it has, a lot of the bunnies were either like a cream or an off-white or a beige color. So I decided to go with the beige. For one thing, I think that the beige looks really nice with that minty green color background. Those two colors just pair so nicely together and they kind of make both, the color contrast makes them both pop out just a little bit more. So sculpt your bunny's head, add ears and a body. Add a little bit of an indent in the ear that is forward facing. So one ear is on the opposite side of the bunny's head and you see the back of it and then the one ear you can see into it and add just a smidge of pink into that ear that you can see into. And then with an off-white kind of a cream type of a color, you're going to want to add some highlights on your bunny. Spread a little bit of that color acrylic over the eye and then add his snout, his little mouth and his little cheeks and a little bit on the chest of the bunny. Don't smoothly spread out this acrylic, especially on the chest. Kind of tap and push it around, which will give you a slight texture, which will make your bunny look fluffy. Add his hind legs and his hips and knees with rounder shapes with the original tan color, and then little shapes for the paws. And of course, how could you forget a little fluffy bunny tail with white. That is one thing that I did just with white. I thought that that required a bright white element to this design. Add a little bit more detail here and there wherever you think it is necessary. And then I'm going to sculpt the basket that she's holding with a darker shade of brown. So take that brown. You don't want it to be the same color as your bunny. You want it to be a different color so that it shows up. And I also wanted it to be a color that would contrast well enough with my Easter eggs. So I didn't want to choose like a blue basket that would blend right into in with some of the colors I wanted for my eggs. So. Another neutral color, like a slightly darker shade of brown, is the perfect one for this. And then after you have that basket started, you can go ahead and add the little handle. So place a bead down and then stretch it into that soft curve shape. And then after you have that, then you can go ahead and add two little arms for your bunny to be holding the basket. Very, very cute little Easter bunny. So there's the first arm and there's the second one. And you can keep adding details to this bunny as much as you want with the acrylic. If you wanted to do, say like sculpt in the little eye on your bunny, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you can do all that with paint later. You also need to make sure you add Easter eggs in that basket. And then with some diluted black paint, so you're gonna use black, but mostly brown. Um, you're going to want to go through and add your outlines on your bunny. So add as many outlines as you can. To keep in that sort of vintage style, you can use sort of dashed outlines instead of a solid smooth outline. It gives it a little bit more of that vintage styling that um, is kind of iconic looking. So not a full outline, especially like around the tail and things. Don't just do that like solid thick black line. Do little, little flicks of the brush to fill in the line. It's something subtle, but actually you might find that doing outlines that way is easier for you because you're not stressing to create a single smooth line. It gives you a little bit more time and a little bit more, a little bit more moment to breathe when you create those little flecked lines for the outlines. Add a little couple brown dots here and there for some shading on the bunny's fur. Add the eye with black. 
and then some details with white. Again, that little tapping motion. If you love this style of Easter Bunny as much as I do, a year ago I painted um, on canvas, it's on my art channel, I did a portrait of an Easter Bunny that's a classic Easter Bunny like this that I absolutely love, and I'll put a link to that video in the description box below. So if you want to have some little more bunny goodness while you're sitting at home quarantined from life, definitely go check out that video as well. I know that a lot of us have a lot more time for YouTube these days, so... You know, why not Why not watch some art videos? They're the best thing, I think. Then apply a layer of gel sealer over the background and cure it. And then a little bit of matte top coat over your little bunny, or as Melody would call it, a hop hop. And you're all done. I hope you guys like this design as much as I do. And don't forget to click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. And if you haven't yet, go head over to my art channel and look at what I have going on there. I have some, I don't know, some different videos on there as well. So yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.